Hey everybody, this is Brett and I'm excited to show you this 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon um, package that we have here today. This is a 2022, this one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower. It's going to get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway, 19 city, for an average of 19 miles per gallon. It's got the 8-speed automatic transmission. Obviously, this one's in black clear coat. And I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to uh, my guy Brock in sales. Uh, he's letting me do a walk around. Uh, this is a sold vehicle, but um, this one's got a pretty unique group on it. So I wanted to get a video of it before it goes out later today. And uh, thanks to Brock to letting me get this video done. If you need a new Jeep, give Brock a call. Um, he's on our website. And uh, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Let's get into this vehicle. Like I said, this one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower. It's got start stop capabilities. It has um, the eight speed automatic transmission. This one also has the satin finish black grill. You also have the LED lighting group on this Rubicon. It has the red tow hooks, which uh, comes with the Rubicon as well as the Rubicon lettering on the hood. You also get the LED lights in the uh, fenders there. So if you thought this thing's got some pretty crazy tires on it um, for being brand new, we didn't do this. This came from the factory like this. This is the Extreme Recon 35 inch tire and wheel package. So it's got 17 by eight uh, beadlock capable factory rims on it. And it also comes with the BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. These are KO2's LT31570 R17 tires. So pretty all-terrain aggressive tread pattern on there. This one also comes with the rock rails. And uh, the other thing that this extreme tire package gives you is the reinforced tire carrier because the tire's a little bit bigger, the wheel's a little bit heavier, so they put a reinforced um, plate over that tire carrier. So that's what that package gives you. We're going to take a look at the original window sticker here. Uh, feel free to pause this um, at any point. I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see it is a 3.6 liter, the 8-speed automatic tr uh, transmission. And then everything on your left there is your standard features. Optional equipment is the black clear coat, which is 395. Cold weather group, which is 14 or 1145, I should say. That gives you heated seats, remote start, and heated steering wheel. LED lighting groups, 1595, gives you the front LED fog lamps, uh, reflector lamp headlamps, and the daytime running light LED accents and LED tail lights. The Extreme Recon 35 inch tire package is a $3,995 option. Gives you those BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Also gives you the 17 by 8 inch beadlock capable wheels and the hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar. Safety groups 995 blind spot park sense advanced safety group is 895 which gives you automatic high beam headlamp control full speed collision warning plus adaptive cruise control and advanced brake assist. The 8 speed automatic is a $2500 option and the 3.6 is 1250. Three piece Black hardtop is a $16.95 option, and that gets rid of the soft top. Uh, it does have the satin black grill by Mopar, which is $325. Your total MSRP on this one is $61,285. Three-year 36 bumper to bumper, five-year 60. And like I said, if you wanted to uh, you know, give Brock a call in the upper right-hand part of the screen, there's a link to our website where you can find all of his information. He can order you a Jeep just like this. Uh, 19 city, 24 highway, and 21 average safety ratings has a four-star front crash and roller of three, rollover of three, and it's not rated for um, side crash, which also voids the overall vehicle score. Anyways, uh, we'll finish the walk around on the outside here. You can see those LED tail lamps look really good. Has the backup parking sensors, the uh, HD backup camera. Here's a really good look at that wheel. See these are load range C tires. A little bit better look at that tread pattern as well. You get your cover for your hard top. These hard tops are pretty easy to get off. We actually did a demo on how to take your hard top off of your Wrangler. 
on your JL. So uh, you can check out that video in the upper right hand part of the screen. I go step by step showing you the uh, proper way to take off your hardtop so that you don't wreck it. Uh, those seats fold down. You get the JL badge on the back here still on the 2022s. Get the metal fuel door there. They put the uh, T50 on there to let you know which Torx wrench to get those doors off. We actually did a demo on how to get your doors off as well if you wanna check out that video. We'll take a quick look at the interior here. You get the black cloth interior. Cold Weather Group gives you the heated seats, the Rubicon stitched backrest, the red stitching throughout, driver's side uh, seat height adjuster and lumbar, comes with factory carpet floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power locks and power mirrors. We'll hop inside here real quick, check out the instrument cluster and everything. You get a digital speedometer, compass, outside temp display. Instrument cluster is very nice and clean. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel with the red stitching as well. Adaptive cruise controls and normal cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls right there. It does have the 8.4 uh, 4C radio, I believe. Let me just verify that one sec. So this is the 4C radio. Um, I don't think it's the 5C. I can't tell from the original window sticker. They didn't put it on there. But you get AM, FM, Sirius XM radio capabilities. You have your climate controls here, including your dual climate controls. You have your heated seats and heated steering wheel buttons, and then your backup camera. I love that they made them HD on these Wranglers. It's really nice and crystal clear. Those grid lines are dynamic, meaning that as you turn the steering wheel, it turns that as well. And then um, you have all your different apps on here, including the factory navigation system, which is a really nice feature. And then you have all your different apps, including the off-road pages and projection manager. So projection manager, you can project your cell phone to a screen. We actually did a demo on Android Auto. Uh, you can do it with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but the demo we did was an Android Auto on an 8.4 in a Wrangler. So if you want to check out that video, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. And then you have your off-road pages. They do take a second to load. So while they're loading, I'll show you that you get the more tactile uh, volume and climate controls there, your start-stop capabilities, uh, stability control. Uh, this is your speed select crawl control. Anyways, off-road pages give you your steering angle, transfer case, sway bar, disconnect, uh, front axle locked or unlocked, and then you have your accessory gauges right here. You have your pitch and roll as well. And uh, to continue down here, you have your window controls, your USB, USB-C, and USB um, or an AUX jack, front and rear locking differential, or just the rear. You have off-road mode plus, and then sway bar disconnect right there. This is really what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission on there. This one has the red dash on it. Sometimes they come in gray, sometimes they come in red. Um, on the Saharas, they're leather. Your side floor mat and seat. Get those quick disconnects in the front here. Assist and SOS up there. And then your home link buttons right there for your garage door security systems and lane systems. Auto dimming mirror, and then a little Easter egg, they put seven slots right there, just like the grill. So that's kind of neat. We'll take a quick look at the back seats, and then we'll do one more final walk around with all the lights on. Plenty of room back here. Get the latch child safety system. Everything's trimmed out just like the front seats. You get that kind of hidden honeycomb design in the seats there red stitching, factory floor mats. You do get two USBs and two USB-Cs back here, and then a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in right here. And there are your window controls for the back windows. These seats fold down, and they go down nice and flat. And what I like that they did in the JLs here, What I like that they did in the JLs is that they made it so that the headrest can stay down. So if nobody's riding in the back, you get better visibility out the back and you can put that down with that latch right there. Do get child safety locks on the back doors and we'll do the final walk around here. 
I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And once again, thanks to Brock for letting me do the video on such short notice um, as this is going right over to the showroom right now and it'll be delivered in the next hour. Anyways, uh, thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share it on our YouTube channel. And uh, the more likes, the more shares, the more videos I can do, uh, the more um, we get to share the wealth of Jeep world. And we have a new showroom coming that's exciting. It's being built right now. And uh, thanks again. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on our channel. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos like this one in the upper right, a link to our website where you can find Brock's information in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Thanks again for checking out the video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share.